this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest IV! Since last time, I did a little bit of off-screen grinding, got up to level 3. You don't have to, but it helps. And during that time, well, it became nighttime, so... Well, let's go uh, talk to some people at night. When it's nighttime, the town changes, the citizens' dialogue changes and everything, so... Now, one thing I always thought about this scene when I was playing the DS version, because I hadn't played the NES version in a couple years, I was like, I wonder if that guy's, like, interested in her. I don't know how you pronounce her name. But I wonder if... Well, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was wondering if he was interested in her, and then when I played the NES version, they literally say straight out, Hey, you know, your husband's gone. Marry me instead. I was like... Whoa! I did not know that they did that in NES games back then. It's like, usually they're not so direct about subjects like that. But it's like, wow. So, yeah, I really like how they did that. I'm going to try and go over some of the differences between them. Everyone keeps on talking about the monsters. Hmm. Well, maybe if I just kill enough of them, we'll find the kids that way. I mean, it's, it's got to be the monsters who are kidnapping kids. Who else could it possibly be? Well, let's keep investigating. Now, while it's nighttime, usually you can't see the king. There's see some guards up there, but... Hmm. Oh, well, I'm sure that's just, uh... You're just being paranoid. Nah, I wouldn't worry about that. Come to think of it, I don't think they ever make anything about the weather. It's just like, oh, the weather is bad, but no, that's about it. <laughs> well, whatever. Well, okay, so uh, first things first, we ought to rest up before moving on. I'm not going to talk to every single person at night time. Some of them, but like that guy in bed there, he's just like, a few, a few. What does that even mean, a few? I mean, not A-F-E-W, I mean, it's like A-H-P-H-E-W or something, or whatever. It's like, what is that? Who sleeps like that? I don't know. You got me on that one. But anyway, let's head on over to Strathvale to, well, investigate the missing kids. You gotta go through this cave in order to get there. So, let's take a look around. Now, in caves, and the world map for that matter, you can't rotate the camera angle, so... Oh, and eventually I will start editing out more random battles, but for now, they're, we're only fighting like one or two enemies at a time. They're really fast, so I'm just going to leave them in for now, but eventually I, uh, they will get longer and I'll edit them out. So, Like I said, I mean, this, this is just the absolute most simple battle mechanics that they're introducing to us right now. So, I mean, yeah, eventually we will get spells, buffs, debuffs, things like that. So, hmm, there's a tower over there, but there's no way we can get there, not even with a ship. Whatever shall we do? Okay, how's it going? I'm guessing it's pronounced Strathbale or Strathbale, something like that. I don't know. I don't really care that much. Well, let's talk to some people around here. Well, well good for you. Oh, okay, well, I, I guess I'll just pack up my bags and go home. She'll deliver the children back to us. Now well, let's go loot the, the town of all their treasure. Hope you don't mind. Oh, you know, I should, uh, I should probably rearrange my inventory one of these days. One nice thing. Oh. Wow, that's weird. Yeah, one nice thing about this game, compared to the NES version, you have a lot more inventory space, so that's not really as big of a deal, and I'll go over that a little more later, but uh, probably not today. But anyway, got an item shop here. I don't know if I went over that in the previous town, but anyway, you got your herbs, you got holy water, works just like the fairy water in the previous games. Uh, I don't really use it that much. It keeps monsters from attacking you if you're strong enough. I don't know how they calculate that in this game. I know, like, in Dragon Warrior 3, it was like, if you were five levels over the enemies, then it would uh, prevent you from running into them or something like that. I don't know. Hmm, no one seems to know where they are. Maybe someone is kidnapping them. 
Oh, that's too bad for those people. Nuts. Well, maybe someone at uh, the schoolhouse knows. Willy Wally, Scottish. You want me to make uh, Groundskeeper Willy references, don't you, viewers? Honestly, I don't really have that many in my uh, repertoire, now that I think about it. Well, try to think of something. More herbs. Not that I'm really going to use them that much, but anyway. Yeah, you see, I got 10 slots there. You have 12 inventory slots for your character there. Well, talk to you later. Not right now, though. Yeah, what happened to him? Oh, really? Huh, that's... weird. Huh, maybe they're not being kidnapped. I like how they're throwing you a lot of different possible explanations for what's happening to the kids like that. So, it's nice. We ought to uh, keep an eye out for that. Yeah, they got little things on the walls you could examine. There's a lot of things that I could be examining that I'm just not, like the painting there, but. Huh. That's strange. So we got disappearing, flying off into the air, kidnapped by a person, or kidnapped by monsters. What's a tur? Well, that, that, that tower, it's tur means tower. In Scottish, apparently. Oh, really? Huh. Well, let's see if there's something down the well for a change. Hey, hey, there is! But yeah, that tower to the west is called the Lac Tour. Lac Moran? No. No, just Lac Tour. Lake Tower, essentially, is what it means. But yeah, you rotate the camera angle, you can find some treasure! So yeah, always rotate the camera angle. Gotta keep an eye on everything. Ah, and there's another, well, not a secret passage, but well, this is the jail they were talking about. Yeah, let's talk to this guy. Okay. How's it going? Oh, okay, well, I'll just let you go free then. Oh, Angus. He was that, uh, that lady's husband from way back at Berlin. Well, we better tell her about that. Now, if you're playing the NES version, well, in either version, you have to go back and tell her about that. But, if you're playing the NES version, he does not tell you his name. And, it's a real bastard move, but, you gotta talk to someone else to do that. But anyway, we got some new weapons here, if you care to buy those. Me, personally, nah, I think the Copper Sword is good enough for now, and we're gonna find one eventually. Got some new armor here. Now, if you're playing the NES version, you don't have the Leather Shield, I'd highly recommend buying a Scale Shield, or giving the money to do that soon enough. But uh, one nice thing about the Iron Shield in this version of the game is it reduces fire and ice breath damage by five points. So that's pretty nice. The NES version doesn't do that. It's just raw defense. But that's it. That, I do want to buy that eventually. So You could also defend to reduce breath damage too. Like fire breath, ice breath, things like that. Yeah, that is weird. How wild. Oh, I suppose I should have rotated the camera to show you the door there, but... Well, whatever. Anyone here? No! Okay, so what we gotta do now is we gotta go back to Berlin and tell... whatever her name is, about her missing husband. So, I'll be right back then. Okay, we're back at Berlin, so let's go uh, pick her up for her husband there. Hopefully it'll be nighttime by the time we get back. So, oh, okay, well, I guess she's gonna spring him from jail there. Okay, well, let's head on back there then. Maybe I'll gain a level. Hopefully it'll be nighttime. Okay, we're back, and yes, it is nighttime. Now, if you're playing the NES version, what you have to do to progress with the game, you have to wait until nighttime, talk to this kid. He will tell you, hey, that guy in jail there is Angus, or whatever his name is in the NES version, I forget. Then you go back to Berlin, pick, pick up his wife, and then come back here. So, hmm, maybe we ought to ask around. So yeah, it's a real bastard move what they do with Angus in the 
NES version. It's a sequence trigger. In order to finish the chapter, you do have to do all that. You still do in this version of the game, but it's... Well, they obviously just tell you straight out. He tells you, hey, my name's Angus. So in the NES version, they don't do that. So, yeah, that kind of tripped me up the first time I played the game. Oh, okay, well... What's that guy doing over there? He's he's trying to get a peek in on her. He's a peeping Tom. We better put a stop to that. Yeah, some people say the same things from day to night. By the way, at night time, you can run into some different enemies. Like, one of them's a babble. Just like previous Dragon Quest games, they can poison you with their physical attacks. So you gotta watch out for that. Hmm, maybe Angus knows something about the kids. Man, man, which explanation is true? Well, let's keep on investigating and find out. Hey, you! Get your damn hands off her! Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, well, I've already done that, so... Well, up to that. And one thing you gotta, well, you'll learn throughout this game, just completely unrelated, but well, I have a moment to talk. Uh, when they made the game into Dragon Quest, it became very punny. You think my puns are bad, viewers? <laughs> just wait till you see this game. Just a fair warning. How do you remember your name, but not hers? <laughs> I th if I recall correctly in the NES version, she just gives him a big kiss on the lips or something, and that restores his memory or something like that. I don't know. But, uh, but I like how they changed it up a little bit. Like, remember how much this wedding ring cost you? Oh, yeah! I went bank... Well, not bankrupt, but, you know. <laughs> Oh, really? Okay, well, maybe we should check out those Lost Woods then. Guess the... Yeah, remember the guy was saying they were well, sneaking out. Well, that's what... That's apparently where they've been sneaking out, too. Hmm. Well, there we go. We got our next clue. But where have all the kids have been going? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Four. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.